The Executive Vice President Business Development and Future Program for Rolls-Royce has said that the company wants to co-develop jet engine with India to power the AMCA fifth generation aircraft and the intellectual property rights of the new engine will remain with India. He also said that US firm General Electric will not offer intellectual property rights of the new engine and will not allow freedom to carry out modification to the engine for future requirements. He also said that Rolls-Royce can be trusted partners for the jet engine program that will also have an indigenous supply chain ecosystem. The Indian Army will start trials of Palm 400 loitering munition for its artillery directorate at the Pokhran field firing range next week, that is built by the Indo-Israeli joint venture Revision Systems. The Palm 400 is an all-electric precision electro-optical guided loitering munition system that features exceptional maneuverability and customizable warhead design to handle different types of targets. It has a speed of 260 km per hour and has a strike range of over 100 km. Aeronautical Development Establishment has issued a tender for retractable landing gear for the 1.8-ton Archer NG armed male class UAV, which is expected to conduct its first flight by July 2023. The Archer NG will have over 70% of the systems and components developed for the TAPAS program, and it will have four hardpoints to carry a maximum of 300 kg payload for strike missions such as smart anti-airfield weapons and Helena anti-tank guided missiles. The Director of Engineering and R&D of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that critical technologies of the CATS Warrior Autonomous Wingman drone like all electric landing gear, wheels brakes and flight control actuators have been developed, and it will commence its first flight by end of 2024. He also said that the CATS Warrior will have concealed antenna with composite structures and will have an endurance of 2 hours with a service ceiling of 9000 meters. The CATS Warrior will have an all-up weight of 1600 kilograms and will carry smart anti-airfield weapon and two ASRAM close combat missiles in its internal weapons bay. On the backdrop of recent data breach of Solar Industries Limited, the Director General of the Aeronautical Development Agency has said that contractors and outsourcing partners of India's Tejas Mark 1, Mark 2, and AMCA program will not face similar issues, as robust cyber defense is in place by the program partners. Security audits are regularly carried out by Aeronautical Development Agency on outsourcing partners of fighter programs and cyber security of the private sector companies is vetted before contracts are awarded to them. The Indian Army has signed a deal with Altair Infrasec Private Limited for upgraded assault trackway that will enhance the capabilities of the armed forces to transport weapons and heavy equipment over terrain that lacks metalled roads. The upgraded assault trackway is built with lightweight material with suitable color to blend with the terrain, and it will be easy to handle for manual laying and recovery. The senior executive vice president for L&T's defense business has said that L&T shipyard near Chennai is the largest shipyard in the country, but it has no orders because the government continues to give 85% of the orders to public sector shipyards without a bidding process, and only 15% of orders are given based on competition, despite the fact that L&T has delivered 77 warships on time, and some even ahead of delivery schedule. L&T had invested nearly 8,000 crores in seven defense production facilities years ago, but these facilities are underutilized because preference is given to public sector shipyards. Oh,